Mac OS X Yosemite brought some seriously big changes like handoff, continuity, and more. But despite the big features, there's lots of little changes that you likely haven't found. That is, until now. Hasta luego, third-party apps. OS X Yosemite finally gives us the ability to do a screen recording of an iOS device. You need to plug the device in via USB, open QuickTime Player, press New Movie Recording, and then right next to the Record button, if you click that little arrow, an available camera will show up as your actual phone. Now this is cool because it does live one-to-one -one mirroring. So if you're doing a presentation or something like this, you can show what's going on in real time. But better than that, since it doesn't use the AirPlay protocol and it's all via USB, this thing is buttery smooth. So if you click that record button, your finished product is going to look phenomenal. It is a really, really excellent solution to a problem that's been around for years. Number two is easily my favorite. If you hold the shift key while left clicking the dock divider, you can quickly pin the dock to another location on the screen. Now you've always been able to pin the dock to the left or right, but this allows you to do it rapidly. Say you wanna use an application like Lightroom that works better in portrait mode. You can put it in that position and then when you're done, move the dock back to where it was. In Yosemite, Spotlight got smarter, a lot smarter. In fact, it got so smart that it can actually even do basic conversions. This is great because you don't have to go to Google. It can do measurements, it can do distances, it can do currency. One thing I did notice with the currency though is it only works with major currencies like euros, pounds, etc. If you try to do some bizarre thing like bolivianos or pesos argentinos, it doesn't work. So that's kind of annoying. QuickType is the new predictive text technology that was implemented into the iOS 8 keyboard. Now, many people don't know that it also exists in Yosemite. It just sucks. Now, in theory, it's great, but the execution is quite poor. First of all, it only works in Apple apps. The second you move to a third-party app, doesn't work. And there's no API, so developers can't implement it either. Now, on a touch screen, it works really good because it looks at the syntax of your sentence and kind of intuitively shows you words. Now, on the Mac, it's not so intuitive because it doesn't analyze previous text, just the sentence that you're currently typing. And you have to hit the escape key for the kind of the prediction box to pop up. You have to toggle all the way down to the letter you want. You usually have to give it the first two or three letters for it to even be accurate. It just doesn't work. In theory, it's a good idea, but the execution is poor. Even for slow typists, it's not really that great. And so for a good typist, it's just total garbage. The next two tricks are like peas in a pod because they both affect the Messages app on Mac OS X, which greatly has improved in Yosemite. Thank goodness. If you hit the details button on a specific thread, you can finally now enable do not disturb for that specific thread. You've been able to do it on iOS since uh, iOS 7, but that's new on Mac OS X Yosemite. This is great, especially from those terrible group messages that keep bothering you day in and day out. You hit do not disturb, you're not gonna get any more notifications. It's great. Now, one weird thing is from notification center on the Mac, you can't disable that. Like you can universal uh, do not disturb control. So you have to unselect it individually which is kind of annoying, but I guess it's a decent solution. Now the next tip is cool. We've been able to do voice calls and video calls for a while, but now you can share your screen if the contact that you're sharing with also has a Mac with their iCloud account hooked up. You click invite and there you go. They receive an invite that allows you to show or display your screen and vice versa. It's really quite handy. Hey, do you know how you like to sign PDF documents on your computer? No, it sucks, everyone hates it. Well, that is until now. Inside of preview, if you hit that little toolbox icon, there's a new little icon that allows you to add a signature. Now you can add a signature using the trackpad, which is cool, it works fine. I mean, it's not the greatest implementation. It's like a very assigned pad, but you know, it works. The other part though, that I'm going to show you is not just the coolest part about Yosemite, but probably the coolest thing that Apple has made in a long time. If you hit the camera button, you can hold a piece of white paper that you have signed with a pen and it will take that signature on that paper and transpose it into a resizable vectored image. It's the coolest freaking thing ever. It makes your text smooth so your signature looks incredibly professional. You can resize it to any gigantic size you want and stick it on anything. PDF documents, pictures, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread and maybe even better. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. I hope you enjoyed this video and the tips included therein. If you did, please subscribe, rate, comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.